Hey, this is KSK142 here coming to you guys with a review of the RAV Power Wi-Fi Disk and Power Bank. First thing on this product I want to get to are the features. It has a Wi-Fi SD card and USB external HDD reader. As you can see right here, there's the SD card port and the USB port right there. So you can put in your hard drive or flash drive to stream movies off of it. It also packs a 3000 milliamp battery so you can charge your phone or your tablet on the go. It has a portable hotspot which you can use to stream movies off the hard drive or flash drive or the SD card but it can't be used to stream online websites like Facebook or anything or YouTube. For the hotspot and for the hotspot you can only allow a maximum of five people to connect to this product. It's this product is thin and lightweight, slim design as you can see around the product it's about less than a thumbnail thin and it's really light it is a hundred and twenty four grams as it says in the paper in the manual that it came with it so let's get to the product diagram of this product as you can see right here there's four four LED lights right there let me move up first one is the battery logo battery this is the read and write LED and this is the Wi-Fi signal one that you can see this is the internet one which you have to connect to your computer to your own Wi-Fi that you have so that's what it looks like and here the side this is the power on and off the product on and off button turn this product on and or off here's the micro micro USB so you can charge the battery in here to use also has on here, as you see seen earlier, the SD card, SD card port, and the USB port right here. If you want to reset the product, you just have to put a pin and push it in right there. So let's take a look around the product. It says RAV Power, as their name. And here has a nice gray glossy finish. Also, this device product has a glossy finish, which which is really nice. It's white so you won't see the fingerprints as much it's a glossy finish again as again size is smooth also that side and there's some stuff right there it's made in China do not throw it away and stuff also glossy right there so let's get to the product demonstration of this thing so to use this product you have to like turn it on right here this thing will turn on the battery and the Wi-Fi will turn on. Let's start flashing after a while. So I'll get the signal out. Just wait for that. There you go. It starts flashing. Then you get your mobile phone. I'll just do it on my Samsung Galaxy S3. So you just go into the settings and Wi-Fi. I'm currently connected to my Wi-Fi, but eventually, once once this stops flashing and becomes a solid blue light. It will appear onto the onto the Wi-Fi list networks. So let's just wait for that as it goes. So well there, there you go. Put it down. I'm just gonna scan. Right there. Wi-Fi SD. So you tap onto that and you connect to it. There is a password to it, but I already connected to it already. So once you get to that. You have to download an app that they have so you can like watch videos on it. The app is called Mobile Fun, right there. So let's press on that. Right there. It says my Y disk, or you can go into your device. Currently has no USB or hard drive connected to it. So this is the part where you have to plug in your SD card or your external hard drive. So I'm gonna be plugging in my hard drive, a 500 gigabyte hard drive. All you have to do is plug it in right here. Oops. And this thing begins to flash once it goes in or something. So it should be powering on. Just put that down. See it flashing. And the hard drive begins to work. As you can see, there's a little LED light right there. So let's go back to the app. My wired disk should be connected soon. 
Let me see here. There we go. There's the hard drive. It says USB disk. Right there. So you just tap on it. And all the files in the hard drive go onto here so you can watch movies. So let me just see a movie that I have. I have a movie right here. So streaming right off the the hard drive. So you can watch this anywhere. It's right there. You can use this up to five devices. You can use it anywhere to watch movies. So that's the Samsung Galaxy. You can see right there. It's working. I'm going to put this off to the side. And I'll show you on my iPhone. Here's my iPhone. There's the thing right there. It's different on the iPhone. It's called Air Store or something. So first thing you have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi of it. So you can see right there. There's the Wi-Fi SD. So you tap on that. And enter the password. The password is 11111111. Till it turns blue and just press connect. Join. And it will connect. Once it connects, you just let it wait. Once it connects, then you can exit. There you go, it's connected. As you can see up there, the signals. So you just go to the Air Store. So my white, the Wi Fi disk. Let's go my wide disk right there. If it will work. So it's it's not working, it's just showing my device. So I'm gonna press home. It's not working for some reason, so I don't let me see what's wrong with it. Just went out and went back in. Right there, see if it works. It's loading up right now. Well this is well, it just crashed. Let's try it again. Once you're in, just go my wide disk. It's not working out here for some reason. Not working, I don't know why. But it works on the... Uh, let me try it on the iPad. I already set it up too. Let me do it behind camera really quick. It's not connected to the Wi-Fi yet either, so let me just connect it really quick. Okay. I'm joining the Wi-Fi right now. See everything, it's a little loud. Let's see if it will work on the iPad or it's not working on the iPhone, but it works on the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's connected. Same app. My wide disk. Tapping on it, but it's not working. I don't, I don't know what the problem is. It just shows, just shows my device. Maybe there's like an update I have to update to. But for some reason it's not working on the iPad or iPhone for me right now. But it totally works on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Once you're here, I can press my device. And I can go back to my Y disk. And it will bring me back to the... Bring me to the... My hard drive so you can watch movies. So let's go to Battle Royale. That's a movie I have on here. So just press on it. On the load, you can watch it. And it's not loading. Same thing, just stream movies. It was load really quickly. Right there, so yeah. So, another thing that's enough for this product for the USB part, the hard drive part. Next thing I want to get to is how to tell when the battery is going to die on this product. Once it, if it's a green steady LED, that means the battery power is full. And once it like turns red a red steady light it means about like less than 30 percent the red light flashes like on here really fast that means the battery power is low and soon to shut off and to charge it you just put it into the micro s micro usb right here i'll show you right here i have my cable so I'll just plug it in turn it off once it turns off you mean it'll like flash couple times it'll turn off and to charge it just plug it in to know if it's charging it is like um it's a green slowly flashing light every two seconds and 
and to know how the device is shutting off it will flash really slow in every 1.5 seconds so yeah you can see right there to every 2 seconds I mean it's charging to ch this product also has the 3000 my app so I'm going to demonstrate that right now as well so I'm going to charge my iPhone so all you have to do is put in the USB cord into the product and go out to the other side and plug it into and it'll start charging as you can see right there once the device is charging the LED light will show up green that means power is going into the phone and once you unplug it the light will disappear it will also charge the Samsung Galaxy S3 if I can find my cord I'll show you guys so nope that's not the right cord um here's my cord so you just plug it in right here on the bottom as well and cord oops plug it in there right there it's charging so it's right there so it's charging the Samsung Galaxy battery has a 2100 milliamp battery and this one passed a 3000 milliamp battery so fully charge the Samsung Galaxy S3 to a full charge and you'll have some left over to charge the iPhone if you want so let's see what else I have to tell you for this product it's a really nice product if you want to get it I'll put a link below it's fifty dollars on Amazon if you want to check it out I'll put the link below so you can check it out for this product right here the RAV power Wi-Fi disk link below this product retails for fifty dollars on Amazon if I already said that earlier um forgot to I would like to thank uh, RAV power for sending this out they sent this out for me to, courtesy for me to review for them see right there and look around the product nice lightweight you can use this when you're like traveling and you have movies onto on your hard drive. If you go on like far away on a road trip and you have no internet.